Okay, so you've opened up Final Cut Pro 10, you've chucked a few titles and effects on, and you keep seeing these little orange or purple lines. What do they mean? I'm gonna show you in this video. Okay, so we're in Final Cut, and if you've been editing for some time, or if you've just seen some of these colors pop up here on some of your video clips, you're probably wondering what do they mean? So I'm gonna explain each one right now. So uh, let's first of all look at these clips here with the green line. What does the green line mean? Well, a green line is a favorited clip. Now, if you wanna know how to mark a favorite clip, you can see uh, our video about that up here. Um, essentially, all you need to do is press the F key, but so I'm gonna quickly show you that now. So if I wanna favorite this clip, I press F on your editor's keys keyboard or on your keyboard, and you can see you get a green line here. Now this means it's a favorited clip, and you can view all of your favorite clips by looking down here on the left-hand side, and we can go to Smart Collections, and we can go to Favorites, and you can now see that clip is in there too. So let's go back to all of the clips. Next up, uh, we've got red lines. What do the red lines mean? A red line is part of your favorites, but it's a rejected clip. So you can have a favorited clip in green, or you can have a rejected clip in red. So how do you reject a clip? Essentially, let's just say we want to reject that clip, we press the delete key and that is one of your rejected clips now we've uh, talked about this in another video but these are really good if you have say thousands of clips and you want to quickly go through and say no I didn't like that one I like that one I didn't like that one and so on once you've done that you can go up to the top here under all clips and you can then hide rejected and you can see it removes all of the rejected clips they're not deleted but they're just removed so that's really really handy to speed up your workflow next up is the blue line what do the blue lines mean on your clips well the blue line means you've got some keywords added to a clip so for example i'm going to press command and k on this clip and you can see that i've added the keywords driving and lorry i like to use keywords in clips so i can find similar clips uh, a lot quicker or if um, I know a clip contains something within it let's just say I have a, a 10 minute long clip and I've got loads of clips but inside one of those clips was a cap and I know that I need that later on in the movie or the project I can keyword that clip and say cat and then I can just find that by going down to the keywords section here on the left hand side you can see that it pops up uh, under Cornwall Day and then you can see I've got driving and then I've got all of my driving clips in one place. So that's the blue line. Okay, so the purple line, what does that mean? So this is very similar to the blue line in terms of a keyword has been added to your project. But in this case, this keyword has been added by Final Cut Pro when you've analyzed your clips. So when you import a clip, I'm just gonna show you now, you can go to analyze and fix. You can do this while you import or once the clips are in your project. And you can analyze your clips for balanced color or to find people. And then if you have this ticked here, consolidate find people results. What Final Cut will automatically do, which is really, really cool, is you can see here, I've got a people folder on the left hand side and Final Cut has analyzed all of the shots that I've imported and you can see it's found all of the close-up shots so you can see there's three shots of me and a close-up you can see there's medium shots so you can see I'm standing here on a cliff as a medium shot there's two person shots so you can see this shot has me and my wife in it together and we've got wide shots so you can see we've got a wide shot here we've got a wide shot here of some cars um, so this is done automatically and this is really really good I would recommend this if you are working on a bigger project especially if you're maybe filming an event because it's going to help you find all of the, all of those interviews all of those two-person shots and all of the wide shots just instantly so that is the purple line okay so finally what does the orange line mean you can see if we look at these clips here there's an orange line there and there's some orange lines here now an orange line means that you've used this clip and it's being used in an open or active timeline 
Now, not only does this show you that the clip is being used, but they've recently updated this so that it's got the kind of section of the clip that is being used. So if you've got maybe a, a two minute clip and you're filming some cliffs, for example, and then you pan around and then you're filming some cars or a train and you've just used that little bit of a shot of say a train, for example, when you're looking through your shots, you may think, oh, I've used this entire clip already, when in fact you haven't, you've just used a tiny segment of it. So I like to have this turned on because sometimes, as you know, you might have a clip that may have three or four or five other sections that you wanna use throughout your video. So if you wanna have this turned on, just go to view, go to browser, and then make sure you've got used media ranges turned on. And this is just handy for finding sections of clips that you've already used in an active timeline. So there we go, it's just a quick video today, but it just explains what those colored lines are. I know many of you will have seen them and you might know what a couple of them are, but at least that explains what they all are. And hopefully that's gonna help speed up your workflow. If you wanna speed up your workflow even more, we've got a few more videos you can see by clicking up here. And of course, we offer the Final Cut Pro 10 keyboard cover or keyboard on the Edits Key site. And you can check that out in the link in the description below. But keep watching if you wanna learn a bit more about how you can color grade your footage, especially if you're new to Final Cut Pro 10. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.